Hi everyone, I'm Laura and this is another edition of the Laura Report. We're out here today with one of our sales veterans at our North Houston location and he is going to be showing us some great cooking techniques on the big green egg. Alright, so now what are we going to be cooking here first today? Today we're going to be cooking a stuffed chicken with rice, uh, baked potatoes, and sweet potatoes. And later on, uh, further along, we're going to have corn on the cob and some bell peppers, onions. We're also going to finish it off because they take a little bit quicker to cook, so we don't have to put it in all at the same time. Perfect. All right, let's get started. Now, the big green egg can be used as a grill, it can roast, it can bake, and it can also smoke. Is that correct? That is correct. And you can add one other thing, you can also steam. You can do shrimp, lobster, crawfish, just about anything you throw on a barbecue grill or an oven, you can throw on the big green egg. Perfect. We're going to leave it in the, in the egg for right now for about 30 to 35 minutes. Come back and check on it at that time. And we're going to roll the potatoes a little bit and also the sweet potato. And check on the chicken to see if we need to flip it over or let it lie as it is. And that's it. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and we're back out here. So what are we going to do now? We're going to check the t temperature of the chicken and we're going to roll the potatoes and the sweet potatoes. In the now while you're doing this, can you tell us what you did to the potatoes before putting them in the foil here? Real simple. Uh, we uh, rolled them in butter and sprinkled them with salt and pepper. And that's about it. Just left it there. Okay, great. So he's got his meat thermometer. Like it's saying 41, 41. Port 9. So we need to cook it a little bit longer. And we're going to do a little bit of roll here on the potatoes and the sweet potato. We're going to close it up. Let her sit. And let her sit for a little bit longer. Look now, on, what are you doing up here? On top is your baffle. That's how you're going to control your temperature gauge on the front. Okay. from the upper and the lower baffle system. Okay. Uh, you want a, a good airflow coming to the unit itself so it gets your coals fired up and you can control it from your upper and lower on uh, how you want your temperature set high and low. Okay. And that's it. All right. Roll in. Alright, so we have reached the temperature of 116 in the chicken and we're now going to flip her over, correct? Correct. Now once we flip her over, are we keeping her in there for another 30, 40 minutes or what are we looking for now? Right now we're just looking to try to brown her up. Uh, this chicken is stuffed with rice, so it's a little bit different. You got to be careful where you're stick sticking the meat probe. Mainly you want to keep it in the breast area. To, uh, Make sure your temperature is at the right temperature. Uh, we're going to roll over our potatoes again. And our sweet potato one more time. And we're going to go inside and pick up some corn on the cob and some vegetables. Also, we're going to put on here and finish it all up. All right, so we now have some corn on the cob and some vegetable kebabs that we're going to put on the grill. Is there anything to this or are we just putting them straight in? Straight in. Just make some room for them. Make some room and just place them in. Now with the vegetable kebabs, we soak them in an Italian seasoning before um, putting them on the grill here. Ooh, it's smoking. And that's All right, it. now how long are we gonna leave this in for? We're gonna give it about 15 minutes and come back. All right, so we've given it about 20 minutes and we're gonna check and see how everything's going and hopefully be able to start pulling everything off. Let's see what we've got here. The 
The chicken looks good. That is it. It's time for lunch. All right, now we've come back inside into the air conditioning and we're about to cut up our delicious lunch here and I'll try it and let you know how great it is. Wow, it just tears right apart. <laughs> Basically what you can see this whole chicken is moist. There's no dryness or uh, skin is nice and crispy on the outside. But the meat inside is nice and moist, white, no pink, fully cooked. And delicious. <laughs>